a friend of mine on Facebook asked me to prove this formula, which is a cosine rule. But I want to use this opportunity to also prove sine rule on the same two-dimensional figure. These two formulas are used to find the side lengths or angles of a triangle, most importantly the irregular triangle. If you are the type of person that loves skating, you will also love this. So first we have a triangle in this form. We are going to draw a line from C perpendicular to line AB, forming two right angles triangle. So you know that the corresponding side length to an angle will be presented with a lowercase letter. So this is going to be A. This side length is going to be C. And uh, equally, this side length is going to be a lowercase letter b. These two angles are acute angles. So if I call this side length r, let me call this place d. If I call a d as r, definitely d b is going to be c minus r. This place is going to be c minus r. Again, let us call the length c d as h, which is the height of this triangle. So let us obtain the sine of the angle A. Sine A is going to be opposite divided by hypotenuse and opposite is H while the hypotenuse is B. If you multiply both sides by B, you are going to obtain B sine A equals H. Let us call this equation number one. And again, we want to obtain the cos of the angle A, cos A. It's going to be adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and adjacent is R, while the hypotenuse is B, the longest side of a triangle. If you multiply both sides by B, you are going to obtain B cos A equals R. Let me call this one equation number two. From Pythagoras theorem, it says hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. So let us use the other triangle, which is triangle CDB. The hypotenuse there is A squared equals to the opposite squared, which is H squared plus the adjacent, which is C minus R also squared. A squared equals H squared. If you expand this, you are going to obtain C squared plus R squared minus 2CR. Equation number three. So what we are going to do now, we are going to substitute equation one and equation two into equation number three. From equation three, we have the first term from the left-hand side equals to A squared. This is equal to we have h squared. From equation one, h equal to b sine a. So we replace h with b sine a. b sine a squared. Then plus c squared plus r. We have from equation two, r equals to b cos a. b cos a also squared the minus 2 times c times r but r is given as b cos a so we have b cos a a squared is equal to if you expand this you are going to obtain b squared sine squared a plus c squared plus if you expand this you're going to obtain b squared cos squared a the minus 2 cb times cos a a squared will be equal to b squared sine squared a then plus b squared cos squared a plus c squared minus 2cb cos a 
by factorization this is going to be b squared in a bracket of sine squared a plus cos squared a then plus c squared minus 2cb cos a from trigonometric identities you know that sine squared a plus cos squared a is going to give us a one a squared is now going to be b squared times one is b squared plus c squared minus 2cb cos a the cosine rule if you are looking for a side line of b you are going to say b squared equals to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac then cos b then if you are looking for side line of c you say c squared equals to b squared plus a squared minus 2ba cos cos c and then for sine rule suppose we have a triangle this form if you draw a line from c perpendicular to the line a b you are going to form two right angle triangles so let us call this length h this is going to be a while this is going to be b sine a is going to be opposite divided by hypotenuse h divided by b if you times both sides by b you are going to have h equals to sine a times b or b sine a then sine b sine of b is opposite divided by hypotenuse this is h divided by a if you multiply both sides by a you are going to obtain h equals sine b multiplied by by a since h equal to this and h equal to this this means that sine a times b is the same thing as sine b times a because all of them equals h therefore we compare the two sine a times b equals sine b multiplied by a now what we are going to do is to divide each of these sides by a b so we divide both sides by a b divide both sides by a b this a cancel this and this b cancel this we end up having sine a over a equals sine b over b we don't have four angle c but if you draw a line from a perpendicular to the line cb you are going to obtain that of the angle c and the side length of c2 finally you are going to have something like this sine c over c and these are ratios